Angular 16 provides some awesome features. One of them is hydration. So hydration means that whenever we use server-side rendering with Angular Universal, Angular is now able to reuse the server-side rendered HTML in the client. So this sounds great, but what does it actually mean? Let me show you on a concrete example. To demonstrate Angular hydration, we created a simple application that contains one route, a home route, which displays the home component. The special thing about this application is that the home component has a home resolver. And this home resolver is pretty straightforward. It's just a timer that emits true after three seconds. So in our route configuration, we use the home resolver on the home route. And whenever we route to an empty path, we redirect to home. So if we start our application without server-side rendering, it will look something like this. So when we navigate on localhost 4200, we see a three second delay, and that's basically our resolver that kicks in. So our resolver takes three seconds and then resolves to the home route. So let's now surf this application with server-side rendering. To do so, we can simply do npm run dev ssr. Our application is now served using server-side rendering. So let's see what happens if we navigate to localhost 4200. So here's what happened. From the moment we pressed enter, it took three seconds to render our application on the server. Then we received an HTML from the server, but then we saw a blank page for three seconds. And that's because Angular destroys the HTML that we get back from the server. So let's illustrate what was happening here with a small diagram. We have our client on the left side and our server on the right side. And once we start requesting for a page, we send our request to the home route to the server. On the server, the resolver then executes and takes three seconds. Once the resolver executes, an HTML gets generated. This HTML then gets sent back to the client. On the client, Angular then starts to bootstrap and destroys the SSR HTML. Next, the resolver executes on client side and the whole HTML gets regenerated. That's the whole reason behind why we can see the white page. Now that we have the concept in mind, let's again take a look what is happening. So we hit enter, three seconds, the resolver executes, we get back an HTML, the HTML gets destroyed and Angular then re-renders the whole HTML. So this behavior is not ideal. So how can we improve this? Well, we can use Angular Hydration. <clears throat> to use Angular Hydration, we can open up our app config and just add provide client hydration to the providers array inside our app configuration. And that's it. That's everything we have to do to use Angular Hydration. So let's see what kind of effect this has on our running application. Again, let's open up the browser and see what kind of effect Angular Hydration now has. So this is now a server-side Angular application with Angular Hydration. So once we hit localhost 4200, it will again take three seconds on the server for the resolver to emit true. So we will have a three second delay until we get back the rendered HTML. Once we get back the rendered HTML, we just display it, Angular bootstraps and Angular will reuse the rendered HTML from the server. So let's go. So we enter the request, we have the three second delay, we get back the rendered HTML, and now in the URL you see how the resolver resolves. So it resolves after three seconds. The difference now is that we never got that empty page because Angular was not destroying the server side rendered HTML, but it was reusing it. Another very interesting thing here is that if we open up the dev tool and inspect the elements, we can see that Angular actually encodes some state into the HTML directly. So this state is very important for Angular to actually reuse the HTML. This example really shows the power of server-side rendering and Angular hydration. Of course, I would not recommend to use such an example for production because each request would be delayed by three seconds. It's really only to illustrate the power of Angular hydration. Angular hydration is such a powerful feature and can easily be enabled by just using provide client hydration inside your provider's array. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and keep on building cool things with Angular. See you next time.